Exodus chapter 37 is, well, it has to do with the making of the Ark of the Testimony, the Ark of the Tabernacle, as you would call it. You've got the table of showbread, you've got the gold lampstand, you've got all the contents, the altar of incense, and it's a great picture, it's a great symbol for us of what we are to do in, well, in our lives as those who participate in the worship of God. When you think about the whole Ark of the Testimony or the Ark of the Covenant, it's got these things inside of it, like the showbread. And really when we would apply the showbread to our life, it would be like you and I hungering and thirsting for righteousness, the bread of life, that which we feed upon and need daily in our lives. You've got the lampstand, which is, you know, the enlightening of the spirit and of the word in our life. All these things are inside the tabernacle and the making of the Ark of the Covenant. We also have the altar of incense, which is symbolic of our prayers that rise up to the Lord. And you've got this wonderful picture as you see these things being added to and placed inside the tabernacle, placed inside that place where the glory of the Lord would be. It represents us today as we live out our life in obedience and honoring the Lord and coming into his presence. We have a time where we where we pray, where we hear from the Holy Spirit, where we are enlightened by his word, and on and on it goes throughout the Old Testament. And as Moses begins to prepare for this time when the people who've come out of bondage will serve and minister and worship the Lord in great freedom, surrounded by all these amazing things that symbolize what God also will do in the future, not just for the Jews, but for you and I, as we enter into a relationship where we follow, where we obey, and where we rest in the presence of the Lord.